And thanks to a global economy, no matter what the United States does, Americans are feeling and will continue to feel the impact of a dispute nearly 5,000 miles away. Our Paula Tutman live at one place you will definitely see the ripple effect at the pump, Paula. Yeah, hi, Jason, because what happens over there doesn't just happen over there anymore. For instance, if you eat, it's going to affect you. What happens to Russia is going to affect you. If you pump gas, what happens to Russia is going to affect you. A wonderful way to see the world from the safety of your own perch is by looking for the webcams of the world. So this is Sophia Square in Kiev, Ukraine, just around noon today. The streets seem calm, despite the fact that Russian troops are poised to move further across the border. Now, this is Campus Martius, not so different from Kiev on a cold, snowy day. And it's through these lens of these webcams, it might be very easy to say, well, that place is over there, very far from my place over here. There are individuals who are saying that what's happening to Ukraine is sad, but it's not our problem. Mikola Mershke is a founding member and chair of the Ukrainian American Crisis Response Committee of Michigan, an organization that today is preparing to mount a financial response to what will likely become an humanitarian disaster if threats turn to war. This rejection of the existence of moral right is the exact same kind of attitude that would step over a bleeding man on the street, tolerate a drunk driver, or excuse domestic violence. They would say, and we've all heard it, we've all heard somebody say, hey, it's sad, but it, it, it's not my problem, and shrug smugly. That I find horrifying. But the other thing we see from these high angle views when we bring it right down close to the street level is that as easy as it is to connect globally with technology, connecting globally is something we've been doing for hundreds of years in other ways. We are a global community and a global economy inextricably tied to one another by slender threads of supply, demand and need. Regardless of the degree of sanctions that we put on Russia, if the invasion goes forward, gas prices are going to go up because oil is going to become harder to export. Professor Peter Trumbor is the chair of the Department of Political Science at Oakland University. Any disruption in supply anywhere has a ripple effect across the global economy. And so when we when we talk about, you know, why should Americans care about what's happening? It is because there are these ripple effects that are a function of the interconnect interconnected nature of the global economy, which means we're going to feel it. Yeah, and so, you know, it, it, it does get a little foggy, Jason, I think, for maybe a lot of people when it, it does happen seemingly so far away. But if you really think about it, nothing is so far away. Those webcams bring us closer. Our economies bring us closer. Everything brings us closer. We're going to continue this conversation at six, really trying to unpack this information so people understand the cause and effect, because it is a domino effect, Jason. Yeah, not to mention the example it sets for the rest of the world and other nations. All right, Paula, thank you.